I'm about to introduce to you one of my favorite magicians of all time. He's one of the best comedy magicians I've ever met. Now, let me tell you something about this young man. I was booked to do magic at his 10th birthday party. I feel so old. <laughs> He's setting the magic world on fire. He's just released a trick. Magicians create magic for other magicians, and he's just created and released a magic trick that is officially the best magic trick of 2022. I know. He, he went to the Edinburgh uh, Fringe Festival in the summer of 2022 and spent the entire summer season performing to sold-out shows and had rave reviews over and over again for his show, he is hilarious, he's amazing, he's one of the nicest people you'll ever meet, and I am so happy to have him. He has come all the way from Cambridge just to perform for you. Guys, please put your hands together and give a massive, massive round of applause to Robert! So, hey, does anyone know how to, to, to lower this? Because I'm not that tall. Hang on a second. I think I've got it. This will do. Yeah, yeah. Cut this bit out, okay? Cut this bit. That is, that, that is, I'm not a tech guy, so that will have to, yeah, I'm going to have to crouch like this for the whole thing. Well, hello, everybody. Nice to see you all. My name uh, is Roman Armstrong. Before we start, Craig, he was too, too kind going on about all of, all of my achievements, but he forgot one. Um, so I thought I'd just tell that to you before we start uh, the, the show properly. I got this today. Um, this was, uh, thank you. Thank you. So this is, uh, I'll fill you in if you, if you weren't here today. So uh, I, I work for Craig's Companies, Nonstop Kids, Nonstop Kids, people give us a shout out. Yeah. So myself, the amazing Emily and Yasmin, we all won this award. Yeah, woo, yeah, please, please. Uh, this is the Lockdown Party Champion, okay? Because in 2020, we did loads of virtual shows. We did shows on Zoom, okay? So this award means that I'm at my best when you watch me from a distance. <laughs> yes. So this can only go well today. It can only go well. Now, uh, I'm going to do some magic for you. You guys want to see some magic? Yeah. You do? Uh, but the tricks that I'm doing, they're not as big and grand as all the stage illusions. Uh, I'm going to do something a, a little bit smaller. So we're going to do a quick observational test. Just to make sure that you can see nice and clearly. So everybody tell me, what colour is this rope over here? What colour is this rope? Oh. Right, very good. What colour is this rope? Yeah. Fantastic. And uh, one more uh, question for the observational test. Um, what am I making in the white rope? What am I making over here? No. No, I am. <laughs> yeah, best comedy magician in the country. Thanks, Craig. Thank you. Right, all you've got to do is pay attention to where the knot is, okay? So I'm going to make it difficult to remember, so I'm going to mix them up like this. Everyone tell me, where is the knot? Which rope? Okay, it's quite easy. I'll make it a bit trickier, then I'll hold it up like this. Can you tell me which rope has got the knot? Uh, give me a cheer if you think it's in the white rope. Yeah. Give me a cheer if you think it's in the red rope. Yeah. <laughs> There's always a few, and they always sound very unenthusiastic. Well, drum roll for me, please, everybody. Drum roll for me, please. I can now reveal that the knot is actually, in fact, in the red rope! Yeah. Oh, yeah! You should go wild and crazy. Come on, you got it right. But I'll be honest with you, I'm a magician. I was cheating, but the knot can actually slide off like this. Yeah, I, I, I shouldn't tell you really. But if you can slide it off, you can also throw it back on, which is... Uh... Thank you. I'll take that. Do you know what? Weirdly, Zoom has a shorter delay than that, which is, uh, which is perfect. Okay, I'm going to show you something else. I've got in my pocket some fairy dust. Can you see the fairy dust? You can see... Watch it. No, you know, it's because it's invisible. That's why, okay? I'm going to throw it on here like this. Watch. Again, absolutely. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three. It's good, isn't it? I can keep going. How much time do I need to... Yeah, okay. okay. One more time. Everybody, I'll give you all some fairy dust on the couch. You're going to throw it onto the knot. Are you ready? One, two, three. Well, that was a big one. Fantastic. Right, one more time, everyone. Uh, can you point to the knot? Where is the knot? Excellent. And if I slide it here like this, where is the knot now? Over here, perfect. This is the last part of the observational test. Okay, I'm going to click my fingers, I'm going to blow, and the magic should work. If the magic works, that means you're going to clap, stomp, and cheer, go wild and crazy, and we can get on with the rest of the show. So watch, I click, I blow, and the knot fuses onto the rope. Come on! Right, we can get started now, we can get started.
Put your hands up. Right, Jordan, Techie, okay. I didn't uh, ask you this, but uh, could you put some house lights up? Because I'm going to need someone to come up and help me. I need to be able to see who we've got over here. Perfect, excellent. Hands up, guys, hands up, okay. Excellent, so I can see you. Very good. Oh, this is great. This is really nice. Hello, everyone. Ah, oh, hello. What's, what's your name? Laura. Hi, Laura. Laura, I see you've got quite a lot of uh, rings on your fingers there. Um, are they expensive? Perfect. Right, come up here, Laura. Come up here, everyone give Laura a massive round of applause. You, you can get them off, can't you? Perfect. I only need one of those rings, okay? Not, not, not all of them. Fantastic. And Laura, you're going to notice, right, as soon as you come up here and step on the stage, not now, but as soon as you step on the stage, just uh, to the right over here, everyone's going to give you a massive round of applause. Are you ready, Laura? Okay? Silence, everyone. Not until she's in position, okay? choose uh, you're, you're twiddling this ring on your thumb that seems like the the least expensive I, I imagine um can you tell me a little bit uh, where did you get that that ring from do you mind if i hold this this one yeah that one ebay <laughs> ebay <laughs> all right did you buy it for yourself on ebay or did did yeah, someone I bought it you bought it for yourself and was there many people bidding for this ring on no Right, okay. I'm trying to find something exciting about the story. Um, how, when did you get the ring on eBay? Five years ago. Five years ago, okay. And, uh, uh, well, here's what's going to happen, okay. Can you pass it to me? Okay, fantastic. Oh, it's very nice. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I actually, I nearly got this on eBay, but someone beat me to it, actually. <laughs> really. um, so can you hold on to my, my wrist there for me, please? Thank you very much. Okay, here's what's going to happen, all right? I'm going to light this lighter, I'm going to wave it under my hand, and that ring is going to time travel. I said the ring's going to time travel back in time to the moment you bought it on eBay. You're acting like this is normal. <laughs> it's going to go back to the moment you... Thank you, thank you. Okay, here we go. Watch. I'm going to light this. Perfect. Mm -hmm. It's done. Okay. Now I'm going to open my hand. You've been holding it the whole time, so I couldn't move it anywhere, okay? If that ring's disappeared, you're going to go wild, crazy, massive round of applause. Watch. And it's back on your finger, Laura. It's back in it. No, that would be good. That would be good. I, no, I'm joking. It's obviously not, of course. It is. Uh, it's currently uh, five years ago, up for sale on eBay, and one person is bidding for it, uh, and it's very competitively bidding, even though they're on their own. I imagine you kept on it. Uh, yeah, yeah, upping the price just to make it a little bit more fun. <laughs> yeah, add a bit of competition to it. Uh, but as I said, it has gone back in time. Um, now, I am, I am young, and uh, I haven't learned how to make things come back to the future. Uh, so the only way you could get that ring back is, well, to be frank, is, is if you go back in time as, as well, which I haven't worked out how to do. But if you... When's your birthday? 14th of May. 14th of May, that's coming up. If you speak to Craig and Sarah, right, it's like usual, book me for your birthday, right? I will have worked out how to get it back by then, and, uh, and you can get, I mean, it was, I mean, or you get another one on eBay, there's probably loads like that anyway. Excellent. Why are you still here? That's, that's the end. Like, when you ring, I just told you I can't get it. It's, it's gone back in time. This is, boo! No, 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 no. All right, okay, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. I'll show you. I'll, I'll show you a car trick that I also bought on eBay. So it's the same price, okay? Okay. And, and, and this is uh, hopefully the same value, and you will appreciate the, the, the car trick, okay? So basically, here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to take uh, this handkerchief. Make sure, have a look at the cars. Make have a look at the handkerchief. Does it seem okay? Does it all seem all right? Yes. Yes. Happy with that. Happy with that. Perfect. Excellent. Is that how you reacted when the ring appeared in the post as well? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'll do, okay, perfect. So I'm going to take this over here like this, I'm going to put it under the handkerchief, okay? Now, Laura, uh, can you, uh, imagine your hand is like a claw, like a claw machine, I want you to cut anywhere you want to. You can cut as few cards as you want, you can cut loads of cards, but don't uh, pick up all the cards, cut somewhere in the middle, uh, and, and careful, don't lift it all the way up really fast, because they'll fall on the floor, and that's happened before, so uh, anywhere you want to, Laura, just cut right there, perfect. Okay, have a look at this card over here. Have you got it? Yeah. I'm going to show it to everybody else. I don't know if you can see from a distance. This is the card I'm not looking at. You got it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, perfect. We'll put these back under here as well. So, I'll take these. Fantastic. Laura, are you good at shuffling cards? A little bit. Uh, oh, right, let's find out. Okay, here we go. Shuffle those cards. Go for it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look, yeah, Laura. Have you 
thought about becoming a magician. <laughs> Unfortunately not. I, do you know what? I've seen magicians that are worse than I think that's fantastic, Laura. Okay, here's what we're going to do, okay? You, you actually, I, I genuinely don't know where the card could be, so I think that's actually quite good. So, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to try and find your card. Now, as I said, I did buy this on eBay, okay? So this is quite a difficult trick to do. I'm going to need three attempts to find your card, okay? And if I get it, not on the first attempt, the second attempt, but the third attempt, everyone's going to give a massive round of applause, only if it's on the third attempt, okay? So, drum roll, everybody, drum roll. Here we go, attempt number one. Ready, Laura? Do you remember the cards? Okay, here we go, I'm going to go through the pack. I think it could be this one here. Okay, Laura, what's your card? The Two of Clubs. No. That, no, well, okay, right. That, that was attempt number one. Okay, one more time, one more time. Okay, drum roll, please, drum roll, please. Okay, here we go. What's your card, Laura? The Ace of Diamonds. No. no. Did someone say yes? <laughs> no, no, it's not the Ace of Diamonds. Okay, right, uh, okay. What, 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 one more try. One more try. Drum roll, please, drum roll, please. Okay, last time, Laura, was your card an onion? <laughs> no. no. You didn't pick an onion? Definitely not. Definitely not. Okay, hang on a second. You, you remember the card, right? Yeah. Okay, hang on a second. Have you got an onion knife on you? Oh, I left it at home. You left it at home? <laughs> Don't, we can order one now if you want. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've got one here. I've got one here. Okay, we're going to cut this open, okay? Because I think there's something inside of the onion. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to give a little cut incision over here, okay? I'm going to cut all the way through, just like this. Okay, could you put your hands out like this for me, Laura? Perfect, I'm going to give this a little cut. And you should see that actually inside the onion, if I open this up over here, there is actually a playing card. Thank you. Thank you very much. And this card that's been in the onion is, uh, I mean, it's... <laughs> Yeah, it's really oniony. I don't know why I'm crying right now. Okay, take that there, open up that card. What is it? Show it to everybody. What was your card? Four of hearts. It is the four of hearts! <laughs> and you don't get your ring, but you do get a lovely oniony four of hearts, and you can have this onion as well. Make yourself a lovely curry when you get home. That's perfect. Thanks, Laura. Take your seat. Thank you very much. Yay! Yes! I don't know where the ring is, genuinely. I don't know. <laughs> Right, do you want to see one more thing? Yeah. One more thing, okay. Uh, who here knows about brainwashing? Yeah, yeah it's interesting, brainwashing, okay? Um, it's the idea of being able to influence people without them realising subliminal messages and that sort of thing. Uh, so, for example, uh, give me a cheer if you love dogs. Yeah. Oh, come on. Who loves dogs? Give me a cheer if you love dogs. Yeah. Give me a cheer if you prefer cats. Yeah. See? People prefer dogs over cats, and there's a reason we're being brainwashed. Think about the phrases that we use. Uh, for example, uh, give a dog a bone. Oh. There's more than one way to skin a cat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, I'm just trying to count uh, how many things are on eBay that are for sale. Okay, well, one more, one more. Um, uh, a, a dog is for life, not just for Christmas. Uh, there was no room to swing a cat. Use a tape measure, mate. Uh, yeah, you're a builder. That's my cat. Can you put it down, please? Uh, one more. Uh, it's raining cats and dogs. Cats first. Dogs land on cats so that they're safe. Uh, cat burglars. Paw Patrol. You see what I mean? You see what I mean? We're being brainwashed to prefer dogs over cats. But we're going to uh, see if I can brainwash one of you uh, as well. But I need someone to help me. Put your hands up if you want to help. We need one more person to come up here. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, uh, specifically someone who loves superheroes. Uh, someone said me over here, right? What's your name, buddy? Harvey, come up here, Harvey. Everyone give Harvey a massive round of applause! <laughs> Harvey, just like before, when you stand up here like Laura, everyone's gonna give you a massive round of applause. Just this side over there, perfect. Right, Harvey, perfect. One, two, three. <laughs> Harvey! Harvey, you like superheroes? What superheroes do you like, Harvey? Uh, I love that one. Yeah, that's a great one. <laughs> Super. <laughs> Fantastic. Right, you can sit back down now, Harvey. That's... No, I'm joking. Uh, who are you going to say? Hawkeye. Hawkeye. Excellent. Very good. Hawkeye. Uh, any other superheroes you know? Uh... We've had that one already, Harvey. <laughs> Superman. Superman! Excellent! Uh, guys, shout out some superheroes. Who else? Who else do we know? Captain America! Captain America. Who else? Who else? Wolverine! Wolverine! Spider-Man! Iron 
Man. Yeah, well, he, I love Iron Man when he does the ironing. That's great, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> he does the ironing, doesn't he? Iron Man. Okay, Harvey, you're going to choose a superhero, but I'm going to brainwash you to choose a superhero I want you to choose, just to demonstrate how easy brainwashing is. So, Harvey, can you uh, just turn over there for just a second? Uh, close your eyes, put your hands over your eyes so I know you can't see. So, I'm just going to show everyone else here. This is the superhero I think Harvey is going to choose. I'm going to try to influence him. Please don't say this out loud. Uh, please just uh, give me a thumbs up to confirm that you can see the superhero I'm trying to show you. Can you all see the superhero? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you can see. Okay, I'm going to cover that up over there so you can't see Harvey. Right, Harvey, I also... Harvey? Oh, no, don't look. No, no, keep looking that way. So I'll just make sure you haven't fallen asleep. Right, Harvey, so I've also got some cards over here. On these cards are loads of superheroes that you could choose, okay? So we have here uh, Superman. Uh, we also have Spider-Man. Um, and we also have... Batman, uh, and we have Wolverine, and Captain America. See, all very different superheroes, okay? You could choose any one of these, and I will demonstrate how easy brainwashing is. Right, Harvey, you can look back around now, okay, buddy? Right, so come join me just over here for a second. Fantastic. Harvey, I'm going to put these on the table one at a time. Whenever you say stop, uh, we're going to go for that superhero. So say stop whenever you like, and you can say stop any time. It's really fair. It's really fair. <laughs> Harvey, anytime you want to, buddy. Stop. Here, do you want this one or this one? Uh, that one. This one, okay. We'll come back over here. Harvey, I'm going to give this to you. Do not show it to anybody. Hold it to your chest. Okay, can you see that superhero? Hold it to your chest. Okay, right. Harvey, look at me. Is that superhero a man? Yes. <laughs> Harvey? <laughs> You have the best laugh ever, Harvey. <laughs> Harvey, is that superhero? Does he, is he wearing some blue? A bit. A bit. <laughs> uh, that, that'll do, a bit. <laughs> uh, hang, on, hang on, also some red? Yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> I think I know who it is. Harvey, right, nice and loudly. Can you say, who is the superhero that you chose? Who is it, who is it, who is it? Uh, <laughs> Harvey, no, on the card, on the card. Who's the one on the card? Spider-Man. Yeah, <laughs> Harvey, mate. What? Uh, uh, hang on. Um, who did? <laughs> Ryland! Um, uh, uh, hang on. Wait, Jordan, hit the music, hit the music! <laughs> Laura, you weren't clapping. I You're a bit mad. <laughs> right, come up here, everyone, one more time for Laura. One more time. For <laughs> Laura, I know, I know what you're thinking. Okay, um, where's my ring? <laughs> I knew that because I'm a mind reader. Right, okay. If I have something over here, okay? So, um, I actually lied to you when I said that it could travel back in time. Um, I, I can't really make it. So, some things in magic are possible, but time travel is very, very difficult. But I did something similar, okay? I have a little gift over here. Actually, look, eBay. Yeah, right. So, this here arrived today. What do you think could be inside? Another onion. Another onion. You've got no <laughs> hope, do you, Laura? <laughs> inside here, there is, in fact, nothing in my hands. There is, in fact, a little gift. Are you, Laura? Yeah, it's true. Laura, here we have a little gift. Can you uh, just take the, the bow on top and uh, unravel that for me? Fantastic. Now, what do we think is inside here? It's not an onion, okay? <laughs> what do we think? Is it a ring? A ring? Drum roll for me, please. Inside, there is a lovely watch, right? <laughs> so there you go, it's for you. You've already got a watch. So ungrateful. <laughs> oh, I've already got one. You've also got three rings. You don't need another one, Laura. <laughs> well, hang on. Hang on. When I said the ring was going to travel back in time, I didn't mean back in time, but listen to this. There's something inside this watch. It's been there the whole time. Laura, put your hand out like this for me. We're gonna, there's nothing in my hands. I'm gonna slowly unscrew this. Now bear in mind, 
People can't see what I'm about to reveal inside here, so your reaction has to be massive. The bigger your reaction, the bigger the round of applause from over here, and the better the night's going to be, okay? Inside the watch that was inside the box that was inside the packaging, there is, in fact... Is that yours? Yeah. It is. We have one more person to bring out tonight. One final act before the interval. And, and this gentleman has literally written the book when it comes to comedy magic. And when I say written the book, I mean it. He is a published author. I think he's written about 20 or 30 books at this point. Uh, he's, uh, he's lectured around the world. He's released best-selling products to the magic community. Uh, he's considered one of the funniest magicians in the world. He has come all the way from Newmarket to be, with her, here, uh, to be here with us today. I am so glad he gave up his time to come and perform for you because he is hilarious. He is fantastic. What an amazing way to close out the first half. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of age, all ages, please put your hands together and give it up for Wayne Goodman! <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah. Hello, how are we doing? Yeah. Oh, yay! <laughs> uh, my name's Wayne, uh, I'm going to do a couple of tricks up here for you tonight, and I can't see a thing. If I suddenly fall down onto the floor here, you do have my permission to laugh. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I was going to say, you can laugh at me if you'd like. Um, I'm going to do two very quick tricks for you, and uh, one of them's going to be a little bit longer than the other one. Uh, but before I do that, can we all do this? Can everyone put their hands up in the air like this? Okay, this is position one. When you're in position one, can you look up? Beautiful. Position two, put your hands down both sides. When your hands are down both sides, look down. Now put your hands back out in front of you like this. Now, oh, in a second, when I go go, I want you to go up to one and look up, and then go down to two and look down, and repeat that five times. Ready? Go! And say, we're not worthy. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna lie to you, that's more for my ego than anything else. Uh, I'm gonna pick someone to help me here, and I'm gonna choose, let's have a look, let's have a look. Uh, I'm gonna choose this young lady here. What's your name, madam? Sheila. Sheila. Hello, Sheila. Have we met before? Tinder? <laughs> I was on Tinder. I got left swipe so quickly I got whiplash. <laughs> um, no, my last girlfriend said if I really loved her, I'd go out with someone else. So, oh, um, bless. Who, who did the superhero? I like the superhero. That was cool, wasn't it? I did be a trick. My, my favourite superhero is Spider-Man. We used to call my granddad Spider-Man. Yeah, he didn't have any special powers, but he couldn't get out of the bath. So, um, <laughs> true story, true story. Uh, hi, Sheila. Sorry, I will come back to you in a second. Sheila, I want you to help me out here. I've got a pack of cards. Can everyone see the cards? Yeah. I'm going to come into the dark for a second because I'm going to have Sheila pick a card. Sheila, I want you to take a card. When well, you've got the card, hold it up against your self. And <laughs> uh, I won't put it there, I promise. And uh, then uh, don't, don't tell me what the card is, okay? I will give the cards one very quick shuffle. Um, you, there we go. So I'm going to come down to here, and uh, all I want to do, yeah, all I want to do is just say stop. stop. Turn that card there, don't let me see it. I wouldn't say people show all the cards are different, okay? And I'm going to drop these in here, and they are gone. Now, what I've also got in here is three very, very big cards. And I'm going to show you these cards now. And when I show you the cards, hopefully, Sheila, one of these cards will match the card you just chose. Okay, and then if it does, I will say to you, Sheila, does your card match one of these cards? And in a nice, clear voice, or one matching your own, I would just like you to say yes or no. Okay, but not until I ask you. So the three cards I've got here are the Queen of Clubs, or obviously the Ace of Spades, and the King of Hearts. Does one of these cards match the card that you chose? Yes. Thank you! Thank you! And that's it for me. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. What? You're all looking at me like, uh, you, wow, wow. If you could see your faces, if I could see your faces. Look at that. Um, United Press, three cards, 52 cards down to three. And oh no, it's, oh, we've got to be better than that. Okay, we'll try again. Uh, I think I'll illuminate one of the cards, Sheila. And do you know what? The Ace of Spades is the most chosen card of any card. The Ace of Spades is the most common card. So I'm actually going to get rid of that card. And that leaves me with the Queen of Clubs and the King of Hearts. Sheila, 
Is your card still one of these two cards? Yes. Thank you! Yes. Woo! Yes. Yay! Okay, 52 cards down to two, and you're still not impressed. Sheila, we've got to do something big here. We've got to do something, I need to stick this out here. We've got to do something big here, Sheila. Uh, and I think the only way we're going to do this, the only way, uh, are these two cards, I need to know which one you chose. So in a nice, clear voice, so every single person here, I want you to tell me which card you chose, the Queen of Clubs or the King of Hearts, and I'll prove that I knew it. Which one did you choose? King of Hearts. And that's why I put it on the front. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, what does this bloke do when he's not a male model? Well, let me show you. No laugh there, please. Let me show you. I know you're thinking, you're thinking that if you'd have picked the Queen of Clubs and not the King of Hearts, I would have shown you the card behind. But that wouldn't have worked, because you see, that's also the King of Hearts. And that ace of spades that I had over here, well, that wasn't an ace of spades either, because that was also the king of hearts, meaning I really did know which card you were going to choose. Thank you very much. <laughs> do you know, it's very nerve-wracking when you come and do a show like this, and uh, you tell I'm quite nervous. Uh, but I was, I was looking forward to that. I've been, I've been waiting for this tonight for a long time. I'm very excited. I've got my family in the audience. And, uh, and, I've, and it's really nice to be up in this part of the country. I don't get up here very often. And my daughter, uh, she's 14. It's a weird name, but I like it. And I was going to call her Nan. I thought she'd grow into it, you know. <laughs> she got me this. She got me this. What do you think? Hopefully you can read it if I open this up. What do you think? Isn't that sweet? Oh, I love looking at it, to be honest with you. Oh. I love wearing that in Tesco's. People go, oh, ooh. Uh, I want to I wanna do a trick, ladies and gentlemen, and this is going to take a few minutes. Uh, oh, actually, before that, I was gonna do, I'm going to do this one uh, very, very quick. It's one of my favourite tricks uh, of all, and it's very, very simple. Um, some people said to me, well, I had a friend of mine say to me, is this an optical illusion? And I'd say, no, it just looks like one. But, <laughs> honestly, that is the biggest laugh I've ever got for that guy. <laughs> never gets a laugh, never gets a laugh. Okay, check this out. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. What's your name, sir? Tony. Tony. Yeah, I'm, I've not got a wonky eye. I was looking right at you, Tony. And is this your good lady here, Tony? Uh, uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh okay. Oh, shall I go over this side, Tony? <laughs> what's your name, Adam? What's your name? Sarah. Hi, Sarah. And how long have you been together? Or is it a first date that's gone really wide, wide, did it? <laughs> Six years. Six years, okay. And where are you from, Sarah? Where are you from? Is that around here? Ah, oh, okay, cool, cool. Because I've got friends with, uh, like in Cannock and stuff. But I, I heard they did a survey. They did a survey in this whole area, and they found that 80% of females who live in this area cheat on their partners. And the other 20% got a letter from the government. Do you know what it said? No? There you go then. So, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm joking, it was 75%. So, I do a whole show based on optical illusions. I love optical illusions. I've actually got, impossibly, I have some physical optical illusions. So I've got an arrow that always points one way. Uh, when you look at it and you turn it around, it always points in the same direction. I've got, uh, I've got a few really, really weird ones. I love them. I, I love them all. This is my favourite one. It uses two pieces of rope. And I bend the ropes over at the end on purpose because I want to create the illusion. Can everyone see this piece of rope? Yeah. Can everyone see this piece of rope? Yeah. Now, you can see they're both approximately the same length. Uh, and, and they bend over like that. Now, if I was to place this one here and this one here like this, you could be forgiven for thinking that this is a small piece of rope and that is a long piece of rope. Can you see that? Yeah. Uh, you know it's not, so it's a bit harder to see. But you could be forgiven for imagining that this was a small piece here and this was a long piece here. And if you can imagine what that would look like, I think that would be really incredible wow. and something you can see. <laughs> uh, of course it's impossible. Of course, that's not possible. It is an optical illusion. It is not what you see, but what you think you see. Because from the very beginning, this was just two pieces of rope, uh, both approximately exactly the same size. I'm going to pull this back. 
I've got one last trick to show you, and this is going to take a few minutes to do. And I do need to set something up here. Uh, I need to get somebody to come up and help me, and I'd like someone who's very brave. So, okay, the young man in the red t-shirt. Do you want to come and help? I'll be coming. Give this young man a big round of applause. Okay, as he's coming up, I'm just going to put some bags down here. Okay. What's your name? Harvey. Harvey. I've had your Bristol cream. Very nice. I told a joke backstage, and they said, no one will get this joke. No one will get it. Don't do it. It's not funny. Do you want to hear it? Yeah. Of course you do. <laughs> it's a terrible joke. Do you want to hear it? Yeah. Okay. The joke is... The joke is, my granddad, this is actually true, my, my, my grandparents, their names were actually Pearl and Dean. Ooh. We didn't call them that, we called them Grandma and Grandpa, Papa, 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 Papa. <laughs> Knew it! <laughs> That's awful. Take that from me. Uh, this is a laundry basket, it's nothing special, uh, it all comes to pieces. Uh, we're going to use that in a second. In fact, do you want to have a little look at that? Check it out. Get in it if you want. <laughs> I knew you'd try. Reach inside make sure there's nothing in there. I've also got a dice here. Uh, I'd like you to take this to these ladies down the front here. Or if you don't like them, you can go to them. If you don't go there now, that will be hilarious. Um, this is a dice. Now, funny thing about dice... The opposite, if you don't know this, the opposite sides of dice add up to seven. So the one and the six, the two and the five, and the three and the four. Would you take that round, get a couple of people to check it. If you've got space by on the, the people in the front here, not there, because it might go under the chairs and stuff, could you just roll it a couple of times and make sure, and take it in that if you want to actually, put it in there, roll it around in there as well, and make sure that a different number comes up every single time. Now while you're doing that, I'm going to do the stuff I should have done earlier on. When I, <laughs> when I was too busy eating the sandwiches and drinking the drinks and mucking about out the back, uh, I've got six cards here. Uh, I, I'm not joking, I'll do this up front all the time. I'm going to write one to six on these. So we've got number one. Look at this. Who said I failed maths? I, 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 uh, I was never any good at that. I was always told there were three kinds of people. Those that are good at maths and those that aren't. <laughs> he just went, I'm one of the ones that aren't good at maths. No, oh, you are? Then you would have realised I did three people and I needed two examples. Don't worry about that. Now, we've got a number six. Hold that up for me. We have a number five. Oh, a number one. Take that one for me. We have a number two. We have... <laughs> You're the one with the laugh then, are you? Okay, the four and the five. Take, take those. How old are you? Ten. You had to think about that, didn't you? There we go. Mix them up. How many girlfriends you got? No. Nine. That's a lot, isn't it? No. <laughs> no, nine zero. Oh, none. Yeah. Your girlfriend is a nun. That's really weird. <laughs> mix them up, Harvey. Mix them up. Uh, let me take this up here. I'm just going to. I don't want to kick it over because I will because I'm clumsy. Okay, uh, Harvey. What I'd like to do is take those numbers, take all of them and drop them, uh, so can I just take the first one, okay, uh, give me the one that you want me to put on the first one, so just give me one, any one you want, okay, just take it, and then place it on top uh, of the bag there where it can be seen, so do you want to do the others for me, and make sure they're all mixed up, you can shuffle them again in your hands, if you want. that's fine, if it's near it, it's fine, that's fine, that's fine, okay, this is what we're going to do, Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very dangerous trick. Yeah. Put my life on the line for your entertainment pleasure. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Inside each of these bags is a water pistol. <laughs> Can I book him to come to all my parties? <laughs> I might as well. No, might as well, I've got nothing better to do. <laughs> Only five of the water pistols are empty. One of the water pistols has water in it. Shake that up and choose a number. You just, that's enough, that's enough. We just got to do, there we go. Three, right, that's bag number three. Pick up, no, no, just, just pull that forward. Pull it forward, the whole thing. You can give me the number if you want to. 
because we're not going to use that again. And uh, shake it up again. Okay, that's not, that's fine. Three again, hold on, let's give it a shake there. One, okay, where's number one? There we go. Okay, so, uh, pass me the number. I've got these in here. Now, there's two bags here, Harvey. You can choose which one I have and which one you have. That's a fair, who's having that one? Okay, all right. Right, this is what you do, come forward. Open the bag. Take out the water pistol, but do not touch the trigger. Okay, so bring it out. Give me the bag, pass the bag up, please. Okay, I'm going to throw that over there. Okay, point the water pistol at me, and only at me. Do not touch the trigger. Finger off the trigger. Thank you. Okay. We're going to count down. Everyone's going to count with me. Three. Three. One. Pull the trigger. Ooh. We get to go to round two. Ah, round two's a little bit different. Okay, here we go. Right, let's give them a shake up. We'll do it quite quickly. Otherwise, we'll be here all night. So there's a three again. Hold on. One again. Hold on. Six. Grab number six. I think that's over here. That's it. Just come over here. There we go. And we'll shake it up again. Three. Yeah, have a look here. Five. There's number five. Okay, pass me the, pass me the number. Okay, choose which one I'm having, which one you're having. Is this mine? Okay, we do this one a bit different, Harvey. Take the water pistol out of the bag. Do not touch the trigger. Pass me the bag. Okay. Very carefully go down the steps, Harvey. Very carefully go down the steps. Okay. Harvey, I want you to point that water pistol at somebody in the audience. Are you ready? Someone you don't like. Oh, here we go. Are you ready? Three, two, one, pull the trigger! Ooh, let's have a look, let's have a look. Are you sure? Hold on. Nah, that's no fun. Come up here, Harvey. Right. There's two left. Number four and number two. We we'll shake it up. Okay, two. I'm going to give you a free shot, Harvey. Give me the number. Take out the force pistol. I'm going to give you a free shot. Whatever's left is mine. Take out the water pistol. You got it? Point it at me. Point it right in my face. Okay, don't pull the trigger. Let me just take it off. Are you ready? Everyone count. Three, Three two, one. Uh oh. <laughs> Come and stand here, Harvey. Five bags down. Five water pistols with no water in. Maybe I forgot to put water in the last one. I didn't. <laughs> Five chances, Harvey, to shoot me. But let's find out. Let's find out, Harvey, if this is the one. Let's find out if this is the gun. This is my favourite part of the show. <laughs> Hands by, come down there, Harvey. Hands by, everyone, three, two, one, yeah! <laughs> Give the big man a applause. <laughs> See you later, Harvey. Ladies and gentlemen, you've been an absolute pleasure. I, I have come up from... I have to uh, come up from... Oh! <laughs> Just stop it! I'm going to wear this to Mama. Dump it. What? Oh. I didn't touch it. Not my fault. You could have warned me that Kong was there. <laughs> Uh, you have been a great. I have come from Newmarket. Uh, it's quite a distance, and uh, I'm off to I'm off to Kent actually. As soon as I finish, uh, me and my daughter are off to Kent because uh, I'm performing there tomorrow. Not in this suit now. Uh, <laughs> uh, but can I say that of all the audiences I've ever had, you have definitely been the most recent. Um, 
All your laughter and all your applause have been recorded on my phone in my box and will be sent to less fortunate magicians. So thank you for that. It's been a great cause. Uh, my name is Ben Goodman. Have a lovely evening. Good night. From there.